Hi there everyone, welcome back to Infinity Drones. Today we're going to look at the DJ Avatar and how it stacks up with the range test you can achieve in a CE country with a quick and easy mod. Now first let me say, um, I know there's been quite a few range tests with the DJ Avatar. I'm flying with the motion controller and um, I'm in a CE country. So we don't have a great range yet, 25 milliwatts. So if you do get one of these drones and you watch YouTube channels, then typically you don't get the advertised range that the guys can see. So if you watch a YouTube video that's based from someone in the US, they automatically in FCC mode, which is almost four times the transmission distance. Then if you go to a European country or a, any other country that's CE based, then your range will be significantly less. And that creates quite a lot of Oh, it, on a uh, between people they say the drone's crap or something's wrong but technically it's not really wrong it's just it, it's, it's advertised wrong so if you're in a CE country your range is going to be significantly less than it is going to be in an FCC country so in this case um, we are in a CE country and we're going to do a range test with it but there's a quick and easy mod you can do to improve the range and we call this mod the well it's just a text file technically you put on the drone itself or on the SD card of the goggles and then you can in, in, well, immediately increase your range quite significantly well we're putting it in FCC mode so you are in automatically increasing it quite a lot and it's the ham underscore cfg underscore support text file now all you need to do is just create the text file um, on your machine on the laptop uh, on your phone even whatever but you must just get that sd well the file onto the sd card of the goggles so once you've done that then your drone and you've restarted it then it would automatically go to fcc mode now in my case you guys can see that um i don't have overlay on my side because i'm using the v1 goggles and unfortunately the srt file didn't upload properly but we are now approximately about a kilometer out and we are going to see how far we can take this thing now remember the model i'm doing is just a text file it's it's nothing hardware based it's nothing bad or anything you're doing on it and essentially if you're putting it onto your goggles you're essentially just flying like someone that would in the us so it's it is no harm that can happen to it and it's easy to do just remove the file the great thing about this mod though is is that if you do remove the file from your sd card then it would still leave your goggles in fcc mode until you do a reset now a reset obviously you can just do in the goggle menu so you don't have to worry about it if you if you do feel like removing it but, but seriously why would you want to remove it in this case you guys can see that i'm doing quite a good range it's a perfect day for a rain uh, for a range test it's quite early in the morning there's no wind as you guys can see on the dam at the bottom there and we are just simply flying out as far as we can now for those of you guys that watch my dji fpv range test using the crystal patch antenna and the stock dji antenna you guys can see that this is basically for the same day same distance well not same distance but same direction that we flew so there's no interference in this area it's literally in the middle of nowhere and the great thing about this is when we turn around you'll be able to just take a scope of how far you've really taken this thing out so this little drone is fantastic but remember you are flying a quite a small cinema whoop and we are now well over a kilometer out and my signal bars are still at three bars all at each of them the video signal as well as the rc signal now just something that i see in on youtube videos quite often is the guys are talking about the motion controller and you must be pointing it in the direction that you're going but if you've got the goggles on it's it's very difficult to do so if you are flying anywhere always make sure that you guys have a spotter with you just to help you out with this thing but in my case actually i was flying with the motion controller pointing towards the ground it was not pointing towards drone i was just standing there quite comfortably and i had no problem with my range and my signal so i'm not 100 percent sure you need to have the controller facing the drone that much where people are saying it must be pointing towards a drone because it's like a patch and then on the front it seems like most of the range is coming from well it's going to your goggles and it's just going back and forth so now you guys can see we've gone well over a kilometer now i think it's like one and a half kilometers um and we are still pretty doing pretty well i think the battery is now around about it's 70 percent 
and there's still no wind it's flying great you can see the horizon's pretty level if you don't again you just move your wrist slightly on the motion controller and you'll be able to see it move slightly but uh, we're not fighting the wind or anything like that because then you probably would have seen it in the goggle view if you really look at it you might say like yeah there might be a slight breeze from the right side because the drone is leaning slightly towards the right but it's very slight in that least now something else about the, the dji avata is this is one of those drones where a lot of guys are going to give it flack because it's not a real drone it's one of these dji consumer drones and just does everything you've got no skill yeah that's true that's completely true i mean i gave this thing to someone with the motion controller and within five minutes they could fly so if you've got the money you can go to a shop actually if you want to just click on the links below and you can simply just click on it um, buy it get home charge it up activate it and you could possibly start flying in literally five minutes it is that easy the motion controller really really is fun to use however i do feel if you want to get the most out of this drone you most likely are going to get yourself a controller but for most people that just want to explore and just fly around and just have a good experience the motion controller is really worth it if you really don't believe me just go watch mr steel's video i mean he's way more popular and and well known than i do and he's his opinion sometimes matters to a lot of guys more but um, in my opinion if you are going to get this drone to just explore you've got a fantastic fail safe mode you press a button it flies back home if you get to a place where you just you know, you're tired you just want to take your goggles off and talk to someone next door or next to you whatever you can because it will just hover in place with the gps situation that's got there i mean there's a lot to like about this drone as you can see now we've literally reached the point where auto return to home kicked in it's still three bars on the controller still three bars on the video signal and we are now flying back we're about 140 meters in the air and you can see the town in the back there it is way out there it's really far out this little small drone just went out 2.75 kilometers that is far 2.75 kilometers is a fantastic distance to reach with a small little thing like this and in total remember it's an fpv drone so you're not getting the mavic 20 plus minutes on it but for an fpv drone <laughs> this a normal one would have, would have had to come back for battery ages ago so once again the dji vart is already in the air for like over seven minutes and we are now at say 55 percent battery we're going back home now this is the other thing about this drone that i really really do recommend it's just once again you've got the fail safe system you've got uh, auto return to home when the battery gets flat if the battery maintains itself you don't need to do and charge it up to 3.8 volt to put it in storage state if you after you've done flying you can literally just put it on the charger charge is full leave it full and it will automatically discharge after three days to a storage voltage so you don't have to worry about it the only thing you really need to think about is don't leave it below 50 percent just charge it up and it's quite easy just put it on the charger wait for the third light to start blinking and then you take it off or charge it full and it will just take care of itself so once again a fantastic tool so once <laughs> i keep saying once again because it's just one of those things where a seasoned fpv pilot wouldn't buy this or well, they would i would um and i have but if you are a seasoned guy and you've got all these other drones by all means you're already in this ecosystem but if you are new and you're getting into the hobby then yo this thing really does everything i would probably say if you get this you might be comfortable using this and not even get the dji fpv drone the dji fpv drone would however be a fantastic addition to this because it would give you the controller meaning that you could then fly in manual mode and also on the same area you can watch my other video where I did the range test i got 3.5 kilometers with the dji activity drone so the range is pretty close 700 plus meters but uh, the DJI PV drone can obviously go a lot faster and it does have a few other perks by being more powerful it can handle more wind and items like that so generally I would say the DJI Avada would be perfect flying around close proximity and if you really do need to go out far out then you can with the DJI Avada but if, if you get the Avada or you have the DJI PV drone then getting the Avada kind of would be a no-brainer because it would give you the ability to fly around people and be safe and no one would really be intimidated because let's face it the dji fpv drone is quite intimidating it's a lot of weight that you're sending out there quite commonly referred to as the flying potato <laughs> the biggest advantage the dji fpv drone has currently is that you can load the drone hacks mod on it remove the altitude limits 
and obviously put it in FCC mode so you can do mountain diving. Fantastic drone because the failsafe system is obviously just that good. But the one thing I've noticed actually with the DJI FPV drone and the Avato is typically when DJI kicks in auto return to home, it probably wants to land around about between 20 and 30 percent. But with both these drones that flow now, the auto return kicks in and it comes home and it lands at like five or zero percent. So obviously they are a bit more liberal with their return to home threshold now. But yeah, it's it's still a fantastic drone and it comes back home and we're about 100 meters away, and but now at zero percent. So now I've got to go fetch it. It did make it to the road, but unfortunately it, it did not go all the way. But anyway, let me quickly show you guys how to create the mod file you put on your goggles. It's really simple and I'll quickly show you how. Now it's really easy to create this file and the best part is it's literally just the text file. So there's no configuration, coding, anything involved. All you need to do is just go and create a new text file and you're just going to type in ham underscore cfg underscore and then literally the last little bit you're going to type in is support and that is it this is the file that you need to put on your sd card so you can literally just copy that plug your goggles in and copy and paste it to your uh, sd card and that is it there's nothing in it you don't need to have anything in the file whatsoever it can be a blank file that is all anyway Guys, if you like what I'm doing, please consider to subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And if you do need a DJI Avato or want to get one or a DJI FV drone, you can take a look at the affiliate links below. It really does help out the channel.